although they were thoroughly unconcerned by forecasts of stormy weather that threatened to take the crimp out of her beribboned bonnet. But with a corsage at her shoulder and a gay umbrella on her arm, she sallied forth to join what turned out to be one of the brightest Easter parades since the pre-war days. Although the ladies of the Spindle City have a reputation for always looking like something out of a bandbox, their costumes this year were decidedly different. Despite the fact that rain was expected in it at any moment, the ladies ventured forth, willing to brave the elements. The churches were thronged from 8.30 until the noon hour. At St. Anne's Episcopal Church, many prominent businessmen and their families were noted at services. These girls and boys participated in the choral program. day for the young ones. Youngsters are always ideal subjects for the camera, and your photographer couldn't resist this little lady with her pretty plea of, Mr. Take My Picture. Black and white is always smart. of the camera strolled along East Merrimack Street near Memorial Auditorium, it spotted many familiar faces coming from Mass at the Immaculate Conception Church. Headed for an early breakfast at one of the Connie Square restaurants are Mr. and Mrs. Charles Lafferty and their son. Don't you think her pigtails are smart? Charlie Slattery, popular businessman, and his grandson. Sullivan and his wife, a group of CYO boys, and notice the new long length of coats for women. Then on to Upper Merrimack Street, where the parishioners of St. Jean Baptist Church, and they numbered in the hundreds, moved hurriedly along to avoid the threatening storm. Many of the women are wearing the new shorty coats. They'll be good through the summer months, too. The men, you'll notice, are wearing their snap-brim hats at a very casual air. Shoulder strap bags are the vogue of the day for women. The 
rain seemed heaviest about the time the cameraman reached St. Patrick's Church. But it was a case of running between the raindrops for all but those who were fortunate enough to have one of the very new and pretty umbrellas, our well-tailored casual raincoat. Silver fox jackets, Kalinsky scarves were in abundance. By the time he reached St. Margaret's Church in the Highlands, the skies had cleared somewhat. And there he found some especially pretty parade pictures. Notice the cortages, orchids, gardenias, roses. There were many of them. popular Hammond sisters, Blanche and Helen, school teachers both. And oh, Mr. and Mrs. Philip L. Scannell, both widely known. In the early afternoon, when the sun really broke through the clouds and the temperature went up into the 70s, people were walking on the shady side of Lowell's main stem. Parents with their children, teenage girls and boys in bright array took advantage of the first really warm day of the season to do the town and mingle with friends. Esther Connor, popular bank clerk on the left. A new color made its debut this spring. And off white, it is modeled very effectively by this young lady. And oh, what's this? She sees someone she knows. She's too busy to notice us, but we haven't missed a line of that very smart suit she's wearing. Oh, look, and isn't it beautiful, was the steady comment outside of this shop where a lily, symbolic of the day, was displayed. Mighty interesting conversation, we can assure you. This little miss was shy in the beginning, but it was a bit of coaxing. She came closer to the cameraman to give us all a chance to see what the well-dressed lassie of three is wearing this season. Someone who didn't make the style parade. We'll watch for you in the next one.